This is an article that came out on Huffington Post on August 15, 2017, and I'll leave the link to this article in the description box. White people who kill black men are eight times more likely to walk free. I would say they walk free damn near all the time, in my opinion. And, you know, of course, nothing's believable in America unless there's a report, ladies and gentlemen. A report, a new report has found that the killing of black men by white people are viewed as justifiable more than eight times as often as other killings. The Marshall Project, in collaboration with The Upshot, examined 400,000 homicides committed by civilians from 1980 to 2014, excluding cases that lacked essential information or killing by police. The nonprofit found that in one in six of the killings of black men by white civilians, no criminal sanctions are levied. This means the killing is considered justifiable, which include cases in which a grand jury declines to indict a defendant. And, and I wonder, did they examine how many of those uh, juries, those grand juries were all white or predominantly white like they usually are in this country? I wonder or where a jury finds the defendant not guilty or decides that the defendant acted in self-defense. The report found that just 2% of all homicides committed by civilians that were found to be justifiable. However, in nearly 17% of the cases in which a black man was killed by a white civilian, over the last three decades, the homicide was considered justifiable. One of the most high profile examples of a justifiable homicide is the 2012 killing of 17 year old Trayvon Martin by George Zimmerman, who was later acquitted. Yeah, and he shouldn't have been. By contrast, when Hispanic people kill black men, around 5.5% of those homicides were considered justifiable. When white people killed Hispanic people, 3.1% of those homicides were considered justifiable. And when black men killed white people, only 0.8% were considered justifiable. And you can see right here on the chart when one person kill another, when a white person killed a black man. So they're more likely to get acquitted. But as you can see, if black people do the killing, hardly no one is acquitted. The chances of you getting acquitted is practically zero. The Marshall Project noted that the FBI data they studied presumed that in justifiable homicides, the person killed is a felon. Well, not every black person even killed by the cops is a felon. Self-defense decisions by regular people, much like those involved uh, the police, uh, were made quickly and with imperfect information the report reads. So they don't necessarily even have to have good information to make that kind of ruling that it's justifiable to kill a black man. See, they, there you go. As a result, a homicide can be ruled self-defense when the killer faced no actual threat, but had a reasonable belief he or she did. So it could be exactly what Betty Shelby did a person was absolutely no threat, but she killed them anyway and got away with it. The nonprofit said this irrational fear leads to killers receiving the benefit of the doubt from the authorities and juries when faced with someone who seemed dangerous. 
and has been and has been found in previous studies, black men are consistently perceived as larger and more dangerous than white men of their same size. Well, we know that. That that's kind of <laughs> that's kind of like nothing new. Okay, um, study co-author Dan Lothroff spoke to Business Insider about the roles implicit bias could play in creating the racial disparity in justified homicides. Sources we interviewed told us that the fear associated with stereotypes of black men could explain why the killings were more likely to be categorized this way, he said. While disparity does not prove bias such as large and persistent disparity without any other to explain, it should be disturbing. Okay, but in my opinion, and I mean, I may be alone in this, I say fuck the court system. We, we should no longer be complying to none of this shit because the courts in America have proven to be very biased. And then they talk about justice is blind. Uh-uh. Justice in America got two eyes and can see very well when it comes down to race. We should know by now, you are not getting a fair shake in the devil's court. The devil ain't about to be fair to no one. And that's the way it is. Please leave your comment and subscribe. And if you can donate to my channel, please do. Peace, family.